Hi guys, welcome to, oh that is a mouthful, Addition and Subtraction of Algebraic Fractions with the Same Denominator. Okay, that's a huge title, but I can promise you the stuff that you're going to learn is pretty straightforward today. So, what is it that we're looking at? Right, so when we're looking at um, algebraic fractions, and if they have the same denominator, what we can do is these have the same principles as a normal fraction. So if I have 3 over 4 plus 2 over 4, I could write it as 3 plus 2 over 4, and then 3 plus 2 is 5 over 4. Likewise, here I've got x plus 5 over 12 plus 5x over 12. So I can write it up as x plus 5x over 12, which means I'm going to get 6x over 12. And of course, I can simplify that because 12 and 6, they're common factors. Well, the common factor is 6. So 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2, which means my final answer for this question is x over 2. Okay, let's look at another example. This time I have this, 4x cubed over 7 plus 5x cubed over 7. All right, in this case, it doesn't matter. We still write it up as the same thing, 4x cubed plus 5x cubed and the whole thing over 7. And because x cubed are common like terms, I'm going to get 9x cubed over 7. Now I can't simplify this any further because I don't really have any common factors between 9 and 7. And finally, the last question is when you have minus and then you have another variable. So remember guys, with fractions, it's always the same rules, whether it's subtraction or uh, or addition. So in this case, my common denominator is y. So I'm going to have 3x cubed minus 2x cubed. And the whole thing is divided by the same denominator, which is y in this case. Simplifying this, 3 minus 2 is 1. So I've got 1x cubed divided by y. And of course, with this, I can't simplify it any further. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And that's it for this session. So thank you for watching. Any questions, pop it in the comments.